work with. I can't speak. This is stupid and waffling and I've not planned any of this. Why am I still talking? Shut up, Andrew. Don't you know? Don't you know? It is getting low. It is getting hot. Hey guys. I'll be completely honest with you. This episode is going to be somewhat of a filler episode. Mostly because, one, I ordered a camera. It's in the post. It's not arrived yet. Two, I've still got this camera. But I sold a lens on it recently. So I don't have the right lens for actual doing real vlogs so this is my way of getting content out there to you guys while not having proper cameras to use the way i usually use them right so since though i don't have a proper camera to vlog with i figured it would be a good time to test out the video capabilities of the iphone 90 percent of that's not a real fact but 90 percent of people these days have a phone or an iphone and i'm no different i have this one here which has a cool case on it cat burgers uh, it's my iPhone 6 and I'm going to be using it this week to try and shoot some footage so I can edit, have a play around with and see how it turns out. The main reason I'm doing this is because recently um, the company that develops my colour correcting software for my paid client work has just released a software update that now includes iPhone footage in the program. So I'm going to be testing that out to see how good the footage actually looks or if it'll still look like garbage. The program that I'm talking about, if you've never heard of it, is called Film Convert, which is it's a software program which is designed to be used with digital cameras such as this one or the one that's coming to post on my other ones, uh, but it works with digital cameras and it's designed to make them look a little bit more organic and actually like film. The way this works is they have lots of settings for all different types of film, like they have old Kodak, Kodak prints or Vista Vision and all sorts of other ones like Fujifilm. They have settings on those which are embedded into the program which you can put on top of your footage to make it look like that specific film stock and thus making your footage look less digital, which is what most filmmakers look for these days. So yeah. Everything after this shot is going to be shot on my iPhone. Uh, I can't promise it's going to be perfect though because one, my iPhone is two years old now so the battery dies in about four minutes. Uh, and also, my microphone doesn't work properly. I've used it in previous vlogs one or two times but it sounds like I'm talking to a pillowcase and that's mostly my fault because at some point in life I may have gotten my phone wet and broken the microphone. So yeah, let's get started and if you're interested in Film Convert, I'll put a link in the description below and you can check them out for yourself because they'll be able to explain what they do and how they do it a lot better than I can. I really want one of Today we have Chrissy's present shopping, um, not for me though, but for her family, as she's in the distance over there somewhere. But yeah, Chrissy's present shopping for her brother and her mum. No idea what she wants. I like household things. I think she'd quite like the chicken mug. Sparkly. Sparkly. 
center intensifies. Honestly, you can't take her anywhere. If it's shiny and pink, she'll want to buy it. So yeah, that was the iPhone footage, and to be honest, you probably can't even tell the difference unless I do the swipey thing across. But the actual options I get to make the footage look better with colours and saturation and all sorts of film grain and other settings uh, is, is amazing. It's really versatile. To be honest, not the best thing with an iPhone, uh, but with my other cameras makes them look so much better than they are straight out of the box. So yeah, sorry guys about this being somewhat of a filler episode. I'll get back to normal schedule in a week when my camera arrives. Uh, but yeah, I got a chance to test out the new program that I've downloaded and also test with my phone because I've never really shot with it properly before, which was kind of fun at least. Uh, one thing that iPhone definitely does have going for it is the fact that it is so small and you can kind of like just go anywhere with it. I feel less self-conscious carrying this thing around because pretty much everyone has a phone and they're so used to seeing people have them on them. Um, but I'll be honest, the footage you get from an iPhone is nowhere near as good as my actual cameras. So I definitely will not be using this permanently in the future. But I may use it for certain situations such as buildings or locations I can't take real cameras into. So yeah. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, you probably didn't because it's just me rambling on about this for about five minutes But remember guys if you liked it like it if you didn't just ignore it uh, But like subscribe comment share do whatever you want. And I'll see you all next time Peace.